One really great tool that you have available to you in D2L is the My Portfolio tool. You might see My Portfolio in a few different places in your course. For some, you'll find it in the My Work tab, or it might be somewhere along this nav bar. You can also find it by clicking on your name in the corner and clicking on My Portfolio. When you access the portfolio, what you should see are the courses that you are currently enrolled in. So here's the courses that I am enrolled in. So I'm going to go to this course because this is the one that I'm working on today. And there's nothing here yet, but what I'm able to do is I'm able to add items to my portfolio. Your portfolio is a place where you can add any type of evidence for your teacher to see. So maybe you're working on something at home and you created a really cool object made with a bunch of things that you found around your house. You could take a picture of it with your device and then upload it here. You can also upload from your Google Drive or your Office 365 cloud. So I'm just going to select browse and select something from my computer. And here is a PDF um, that I have on my computer of my work. So I'm just going to click open. I upload the evidence. And then what I'm able to do if I click on it, my teacher can give me feedback and they can also associate a rubric to this. Um, and you can also see that I have the option here to upload an audio file. So if I want to provide my teacher with a little description, I can. I can also edit this by giving it a new title and I can write down some thoughts so I can add a written reflection. So this is a really great place for you to submit work to your teacher that might not otherwise have a place to go within your course. I hope you enjoy the portfolio tool. Once your teacher receives that work, they'll see it on their end and they can approve that evidence, provide you feedback, provide comments, or just take a look at it and speak to you in another way. But it's a really great way to communicate back and forth with your teacher. The work that you commit, complete in your portfolio and anything that you submit to any of your portfolios stays with you as long as you are a student in your school board. So you'll always be able to go back and find those items in your portfolios.